Good morning, everyone. I don't know what day we're on now. I think it's day five. Tuesday, yeah. So it's day five of bringing home a puppy. Um, it's a bit of a misty morning this morning. The ground is wet. and um, But yeah, it's, it's okay. Puppy slept through from about 11 last night through to six this morning. So that's good. I actually woke him up. Um, I've got a new, I've got a new comfy mat to sit on today, so this is all stuff. Hi, Ray. Hi, Ray. Scrap that up. Um, really good day yesterday. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Really good day yesterday. Um, lots of lots more obedience work. When I say lots more, we do five minutes once a day at night. Um, which seems to be when I've got a bit more time. And sit is a thing now. He knows what sit means. Um, he's now started to do down as well. Not put a command to it yet, but he understands if the treat's on the floor, if he lies down, he gets it. That's amazing. Um, his eyes are starting to open up a little bit more. He's starting to see a tiny bit more, but not a lot more. Um, he had some ox liver in his food last night which he seemed to love so that was nice he's also the day before that gave him a beef bone a little beef rib and he actually managed to eat that he knew what to do with it so he's definitely growing up aren't you understanding things starting to navigate the actual stairs inside to go to the first level so that'll be interesting to see how that's not being encouraged at the moment because i don't want him to think that he needs to be up there i want him to feel safe downstairs which is where he is going to spend most of his time <laughs> all his toys are wet this morning it's not so much fun out here because it's misty They'll, the sun will burn it all off but um yeah so good day yesterday um i also got a little bit of work done in the house that i needed to do i did have a bit of a power nap as well because it is exhausting i think that's one of the reasons i'm making these videos without the frills and um, just as you see me because it, it is exhausting when you get a new puppy especially if you've got other animals i've got two other dogs Three other cats so um i think the hardest thing for me at the moment is not being able to take him out with us the places we go my dogs get a good one hour walk every morning i mean they're on the valley so i'm surrounded by beautiful walks every day and um yeah it's hard he's asleep while we go but it would help my routine a lot more if he could come with us but he's just not strong enough as yet um He's just a tiny little puppy, tiny little baby. So I'm hoping that within the next four weeks, um, that strength will build and he will be able to go on short little walks with us and come, you know, in uh, my lot. Can still go for their hour long walk, but maybe he can make it down the road to the park. There's a little park at the end of the road. So yeah, <laughs> more of the same today. Um, more getting used to spending a little bit of time on his own. I do have to go back to work today. I've got a slow day today, which I'm lucky. Um, just, um, I didn't make it to the gym yesterday, but I did do some exercise in the house. Um, yeah, and just slowly reintroducing myself back to like a working week and getting him used to uh, me not always being around all the time. It's, it's kind of, he's, meant to be a guard dog so he needs to be able to look after the house eventually one day when he's big enough so yeah um we'll speak to you tomorrow